Hey everyone, this is Dirk with the GeoVision. In this video, I will show you how to connect BMS to an uh, authentication server and how to connect an auth server to uh, Windows with the AD setup. So first of all, let's go to the DVR list and add a clients. All right, then go to the uh, network setting and double check the uh, ID and password and the poor information. You will need this information for the connection. And let's move to the uh, first the VMS server named the VMS 183. You type the uh, external IP address here, the poor number, ID and password and click on OK. Then move to the uh, second VMS named demo. Same as the first one, you type the IP address, port number, ID and password, then click on OK. Now it's back to the op server, close this window and uh, start the service. OK, um, starting from here, I will show you how to connect the op server to uh, Windows with the AD setup. Let's go to the active directory setup and enable active directory function. And you type the IP address of the Windows server with AD. You see that? This is the IP address of the Windows with AD 5.21. Then it's back to the op server. You also need to uh, type in the uh, login information, username and password. Let's go test the connection. All right, it says uh, connect successfully. All right, let's go click on OK. Close this window and uh, move back to the uh, Windows server. All right, as you can see here, this is the uh, folder I will use for this uh, demonstration. Gems. All right, this is a group folder with um, two user accounts included. All right, so move back to the op server and let's go assign the authority level. All right, drag down and you will see the uh, gems folder. And I'm going to drag into the uh, supervisor account category. Then click on OK. And after that, you will need to restart the authentication server for changes to tech EFIP. All right, this is a very important step. Click on OK. And let's uh, exit the uh, server. Then stop the server again. Let's go start the service. And go to the uh, password setup. All right, let's go supervisor account. And you will see uh, both the gyms one and two are now under supervisor category. And both of them have the rights to uh, access the VMS server demo and VMS 183. Click on OK. And now I'm going to go into edit client for my GVI. Uh, so I can use the information for my next video tutorial. I will use a GVI as my client name. Click OK. Do you see that? GVI is going to be my uh, client name, which is, will be used for my uh, next video tutorial. 